let us now summarize. We, so we started off by talking about regression trees and classification, uh, classification trees, which are very simple nonlinear models to fit to data. And we saw they work quite well. They work with, uh, with NAs, they work with uh, continuous variables, with discrete variables. They're very easy to fit and they're very easy to interpret, but the performance was not as good as some of the more modern ensemble-based uh, methods in the context of trees and the first group we discussed uh, when in forest and, and um, bagging relied on the bootstrap so we, we quickly revised the bootstrap which is just a way of resampling from the data resampling with replacement to get new synthetic data sets now if you use those synthetic data sets and we fit uh, uh, trees on each of them and we kind of average the information by either taking a, a, an average or a majority vote in terms of classification, then we'll exactly get what is known as begging. Sorry. And um, if I now say, well, but those fitted models are actually quite similar, how can I make them more diversifying? What I can do is actually each model not give all the predictors uh, make, not make all the predictors available for it to fit on, but only a fraction, usually the square root of the number of predict, uh, predictors. And if I do this uh, kind of reduction of predictors each step, then the model I get is random forest, which is very similar to begging, where I just allow the model to be only fitting on a random subsection of the predictors each step. So those two models already perform quite good, in particular random forest, which is a uh, a very trivial uh, uh, modification to begging is more commonly used in practice and it performs quite well. Uh, and on top of it, we also discussed another model which is called boosting, which rather than using the bootstrap, it uses a kind of sequential update of the data where I look at the data, I fit a tree-based model, a very small one, take away part of the information I, I learned, but only with a small learning weight, and then kind of keep on doing it until performance gets better and better. So this is a very powerful model as well. It uses small trees rather than the larger trees used in begging and random forest. And, and those are all very popular models in data science. So kind of to put it into context, regression trees are not as much used if you want performance, but they're good for interpretation. But random forest and boosting are very competitive techniques. They are often used interchangeably where people might use random uh, neural networks or support vector machines that might use those techniques as well. And because they're so versatile, because you can easily deal with kind of discrete variables with NAs, you don't have to worry about what, I do, what am I doing with the MAs, how am, how, how am I imputing them, because you don't have to worry about it. They're very kind of uh, um, very often used with data scientists because it's like a one of the best techniques you can use. It gives you excellent performance and there's very little you can do wrong with those models. And when in force, for example, I can easily parallelize as well. The bootstrap, I could parallelize it so I can really apply it to a lot of data and I can get very good results for those very big um, data sets. So this is really all I wanted to say. And I think today was the first day where we kind of had the chance to, to touch on some of the more more modern and more powerful machine learning techniques rather than last week where a lot of the stuff were many things you you probably have seen or heard about in some of your statistics courses.